Oh, yeah. And then we get Goldspan Dragon and a Halana and Lena to start our turn with Giza. Please don't kill Giza. My upkeep is going to be insane. Oh. Oh, the toxicity is burning in my brain. What's up, gamers? We're the evil ones today. The creature decks will never beat this deck, ever. If a creature deck beats this deck, you get your money back. Money back guarantee you'll never lose to a creature deck playing this deck ever in your life. We have four Parasitic Grass, four Infernal Grass, four Meat Hook Massacres. We got Soul Shattered, Giza, Sorin, Lolf, Blood in the Snow, and our boy Toxicity himself. Toxril the Corrosive. At the beginning of each end step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. And whenever a creature you don't control with a slime counter on it dies, create a 1-1 one, one black slug creature token. And then you can pay uh, Demir mana and sacrifice a slug to draw a card, which we could be using with Celestis or uh, treasure tokens from Skullport Merchant to do that. But we're going to bring him back with Blood in the Snow. We're going to destroy all of our opponent's creatures, bring back Toxrail or Lolt out of the graveyard, and destroy our aggro opponents. They'll never beat us. Maximum toxicity level 1 million percent. If you hate aggro decks and hate playing against aggro decks, this is the perfect deck for you. I hope you like it. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you in the matches. And it all starts right now. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. If I've never seen a more perfect hand in my life. It's a forest. We love to see forests. We love to see... Oh. We... Okay, okay. Are we Infernal Grasping this? No. Parasitic Grasp. Deal three gains your life? Oh no, it's black mana. How do we beat Immersturn Predator? <laughs> oh, Giza. Got it. Alright. This? Giza or Skullport? Skullport. Oh, Shump! Thanks for the raid! Everyone go follow Shump's stream. Name Fernal Grass by Skullport Merchant? You're gonna wish you held that for my Toxrel opponent. Alright, please don't play Mr. Predator. The Seekus Chariot. That's a problem. It is a problem. Blood on the snow. Alright, we must hold up Inferno Grass for Seekus Chariot. But uh, we also need to draw a land. Any land. We're playing 26 lands. Do we draw a land for Blood on the Snow? We draw a land. We do indeed draw a land. We can do this. We can blow in the snow. Destroy all creatures. Pay with triple snow mana. Bring back our card that gives us an extra treasure. Let's go. That's a red and seven. Now, a Seeker's Chariot's one of those cards that we probably can't beat with just the Sweepers. <laughs> Alright, that's a block. But, what we can do is we can keep Blood in the Snowing. Or we could just cast Toxrill. But then they can still animate the chariot and do the whole thing. Okay, we're just going to do this again. Oh, yeah. Keep bringing it back. Keep bringing it back. Do you have another red opponent? 
Another Ren? They played a land before they plus Ren, which is interesting. Okay. That is a Halana and Elena. You know what we you know what we say to Halana and Elena? Giza. Do we say Giza or do we say Toxrill? Golgoli, how's it going? Hello. Giza or Toxrill? Huh. I believe we go Toxrill here. We didn't play this deck to not play the slug, did we? No. No. Toxrill actually is pretty interesting with Halana and Elena because Halana gives it one less counter because it only has one power now. Minus three. They prepare for war. What say you, opponent? They do have Infernal Grasp, but they can kill Toxrill. Gold Span. Okay, we don't have a flyer. Are they going to a Seeker's Chariot through the Gold Span? No. They're going to make it more powerful. Alright, we needed to draw an answer to Gold Span Dragon, chat. Ow. Oh yeah, we can do Lolth, right? You just draw Lolth? Parasitic. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be great. Giza. Right? Giza. Stop on end step. Toxrill, put a counter. Kills that. Parasitic Grasp, kill Goldspan Dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we get Goldspan Dragon and a Halana and Lena to start our turn with Giza. Please don't kill Giza. My upkeep is gonna be insane! Oh! Need some lands, but that's fine. Parasitic, perfect. Well, I need a land, but Parasitic will do for now. Doesn't work against that, though. Okay. No snakes can veil in their hand. That's a land. We love to see it. Graveyard Trespasser, sure. Untap land. Thank you. I think I like that better than me, Hook. Darkness will I will. Get what I want. Let's freaking go. Our hand is so toxic. Alright, we're definitely double blocking this, right? They remove one, I'm also okay with it. Sure. My will cannot be denied. My Spell power port. is for annihilation.
Soren. Or I'll draw a card. Soren. All right. I'm just trying to draw a land, Jet. Chrono Grasp. Sure. That means Lolf goes to four. They can't kill it. Survives. Magda. Land! I have six mana. This is where I plus. Soul Shatter. Perfect. Land. Okay, me hook for one and soul shatter. Or I could just cast Soren. But if I cast Soren, Lolf dies. Alright, me hook for three. Do you have a haste creature? You have a haste creature. Soul Shatter just in case they play Goldspin Dragon. Alright, that's not a haste creature. Oh, yeah. Alright, draw a card. Pure Toxicity. Just pure Toxic. Oh, yes. Oh. Minus. Hold up Soul Shatter. Go. And Scoops. Oh, oh, our hand was so good. Our hand was so good. Can we a Skullport Merchant? They're playing Den of the Bugbear. So far, we've played against some aggro decks, and that's promising. Ranger class. Do we grasp this? I don't think so. Land? Alright, we're on the right track. We are on the correct track. All right. Back. Done. Is everyone done? I guess people were just playing Jun Magda, right? Chariot. That card's hard for me to beat. Alright, so we can go Meat Hook, we can go Lull. If they play a, if they play something with four power and attack my Lull with three things, um At least I can kill my I can kill the chariot with the two things and sacrifice the Lolf and then blow him the snow back. Alright, Lolf is the plan. Actually, I can't do that because they can give a plus one, plus one counter to a Seekers Jerry that I didn't actually take into account with that. So maybe Meat Hook Massacre was the plan there. I kind of want to save Meat Hook Massacre in case they have Immersion Predator, though. But can they please not play Immersion Predator? That would be great. Thank you. All right. Let's draw a land. How's that? Do we like lands? I like lands. All right, waiting, waiting. Valky, they're gonna take my Toxril. Unfreaking fortunate. Unfortunate.
All right, they put a 1-1 counter on Chariot. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, Project Save the Lulf. Alright, can we draw an untap land? Subs, do what I demand. They really want me to sleep, don't they? That's an untap land. That's an untap land for sure. I don't have a way to kill this chariot. I might just have to minus this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna meat hook for two. Hold up parasitic grasp. Potentially for something else. Got it. Cool, get my Tostro back. In life. And then I'm gonna minus. And then I can get my Lolf back next turn with Blood of the Snow. All of we will slay our enemies. The only blue sources we have treasures, yes. But we have four Skullport merchants, and we also have um, two copies of Celestis. Perfect. Oh my gosh, yes, Toxtril, Toxtril, Toxtril. Oh yeah. Pass. From a grasp? Sure. I'll get that back with Blood on the Snow next turn. I have seven snow lands in play. Full spin? Nice. I get a 5 5? Go for it. Blood. Destroy creatures. Oh, I actually can't bring it back with... I can't bring Toxicro back, unfortunately. Oh, well. Uh, pay with five. That's, that is a sad story. That is a very sad story. I will. Oh, wait. Yeah. If if Blood in the Snow was taxed, if there was a Thalia on the board, I could bring it back. Scoop! That is not a human, so I can't kill a Parasitic Grasp. But what if they play a human this turn? That's also not a human. I think I'm passing. What can they do here? They can play Emerson Turn Predator? Then I have Soul Shatter. Land. Chariot. I 
think I'm just going to use Parasitic Grasp this turn. And just, like, attempt to Soul Shatter the Chariot next turn. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm still Soul Shattering. Lana. Oh, they sacrificed the Halana. That's unfortunate. I'll give them the option. But they're going to sacrifice Halana, and that's unfortunate for me. At least this doesn't get plus two, plus two. Mana burn, thanks for the follow. Inferno Grasp. Okay, I'll take it. I think I'm playing Merchant this turn, though. Because if I just play Infernal Grasp, I can't hold up. I, I, if I just play Meat Hook, I can't hold this up, and I really need to kill this chariot. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. Dang. What a great dress. What a great dress. Ranger? Okay with me. Sure. Alright. I'm gonna sacrifice this. I'm gonna go no block and then meet her. So then I gain five life. And then I get to keep Skullport Merchant around. And then I can blow on the snow back to Skullport later. Second Chariot. Okay, that, that's good for me. I killed the Chariot for free, chat. And now I block this. lose a life, go to 19, as if that matters. Parasitic. Jerry is one annoying, one annoying bugger. But at least I get to hold up Parasitic Grass if they play a human. And I gain some more life. Up to 19. Alright. I need more answers to Chariot. Oh my gosh, third Chariot! Okay. This is like as good as it could be for me, I guess. It could, it could be a lot worse. Am I taking this? I'm pretty sure I'm taking this. In front of perfect. Crawling Barons, okay. 
Alright, please don't have another duress. Because <laughs> I can Inferno Grasp and, and, crawl, and grow the Crawling Baron. Why? Why? Come on. What the heck? Are they just top decking these duresses? Because shouldn't they have played them like earlier? Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Why though? Why? Imagine having answers to Jerry and then duressing it off the top both times. something. Crap. Draw something. Oh! <laughs> All right. On the snow, hopefully they don't have a, a thing to bring back with Jerry again. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Don't play a thing with four power. All right, that doesn't have four power. I can kill this by discarding this, but I want to wait till my turn to do that, since I don't want it to go to nighttime. Lol. Three damage to a human. Discard a card. Gain a life. Ass low. <laughs> yes! Minus! Go! <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna win this? Oh, please tell me I'm gonna win this. Graveyard. Land? Ass. Another lull. Oh my gosh, what we can do here is something pretty cool, right? Yeah, we can do we can do exactly what we want to do, right? Wait, cancel. I need to attack with these two ones first. Then I can use crawling barons in this, then I'm not gonna need those anymore. Sacrifice this. They lose a life I draw a card. Gain a loyalty. Then 
I do this, sacrifice this, draw a card, gain a loyalty, they lose a life. My then I get to minus this, make two more two ones. Then I get to play Lolf with the remaining mana and minus again. My children dread a gift in exchange for loyalty. Scoop, 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 scoop. <laughs> oh, the toxicity's burning in my brain. Kabira takedown. Okay. If it's a human, though, I'm parasitic grass is really good. Oh. Symbology. Is that a human? The core cleric. Okay, another Kabira takedown. Interesting. All right, planning on planning on parasitic grasp here then. Wedding. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna meat hook. Wait, no, no, no! I don't meat hook. Are you supposed to go to McDonald's one for the seven inches of snow on the ground? Great question. I don't have the answer to. Thorin. Minus for some sweet, no sweet life. My will. You fight for me. Do they attack with both to get a a draw? Or they're gonna write of oblivion. Without me, we're all doomed. That's a good card. Great card. Whoa. I mean, what do you have? Meat hook for one. All right. There. I will soar it again. I am vengeance. Blood and righteous. You deal with You thought that was my thing? I have all the answers. Um dig your way to it because you want it you want it bad enough. If you can't get McDonald's on seven inches of snow, then you don't want it bad enough. Period, point blank, case closed. Solid point. Professor of Symbology is going to get a 7 drop. And then Wedding Announcement is going to... Oh, Reduced Memory? That's it? Oh. I guess I'm doing this. And then I'm meat hooking. Here. Mine goes into the stack first. There's goes into the stack second. I will lose... Two life before I gain the life back. These parasitic grass ain't looking too hot, but at least it can kill some random things that they have, like a shambling gap. Deadly dispute. Sure. Uh, 
Another wedding announcement. Hive. Okay, so Brass can kill the Hive. Or Grasp can just block. Okay, so if I do this, then they reduce my lull, I guess. That's fine with me, though. There's more lulls where that came from. My will cannot be denied. I would attack, but they have a menace creature. Reduce my meat hook. Unfair. So they're gonna meat hook me back. They gonna blood and snow me? I guess they could do that. They are gonna meat hook me. You're playing jelly bean. I will gladly make. Can I draw an untapped land? That's not an untapped land. But I will gladly do this. And this. And then I can grasp the hive. And then I can play Toxrill. And then hopefully they don't draw more right of oblivion and blood in the snows. They drew a land. That's great for me. Oh, I can't actually do this because they have. Wedding, wedding festivity, but I can block it and do that, I guess. Alright, pass the blockers. Do this. No. This, and then this, and then this. That's a human. Wait. I can just grasp the human. And just block like this anyway. It doesn't really matter though. It doesn't really matter. They are going to draw a card off this wedding announcement, though. Why not triple lock in case of a removal spell? Because they have no hand. My I will call the wheat. I'm going to kill this now because they could draw Deadly Dispute. Please don't kill my lolf. Please don't find us some kind of removal spell. Please. It's okay. Toxful's gonna take him down. Alright, they have something, or else. Because they already played their land drop. They have something to play. They're thinking about killing my Skullport Merchant before it gets a chance to, to draw a card. Opponent? Hello? Opponent. Earth to opponent. Mars to opponent. Mercury to opponent. Alright, I know it's not a, I know it's not a planet anymore, but Pluto to the opponent? Does that work? All right, do we just sing the happy birthday song? Happy birthday to the opponent. It is the opponent's 1800th birthday. They are indeed vampires. That wasn't supposed to be a pun, but it works with wedding festivity, I guess. Okay, um, they could have blood on the snow. And playing Toxrill would be really bad into blood on the snow. So I think I'm just going minusing this and then just working up my crawling baron. I will get what I want. Yeah. Ah, uh, I missed you, crawling baron. I missed you.
I guess they just top decked that. Because they would have used that last turn for sure. Nothing more. Falling Barons is really good against Rite of Oblivion, though. If they, if they, the, I think the right play for them is to write my spell port so I don't get any more draws. But I'll take the draw. Five. Ooh. Six. I will just keep doing this until they die. Right of Oblivion is a really good card. Yeah. Edgar. This is a strong Edgar. Our deck is not prepared to beat that card. But. We can menace creatures around it. They can go right sack the Edgar or sack the treasure. Alright, so I guess I'm going to get a draw out of this by sacrificing one of these. Agrimali. I, I do play Giza. Giza's my out. That's not a Giza. Am I just playing Toxrill here? Go, slug! <laughs> Yay! Immediately dying! The third Kabira takedown. More lands. Can I erase them? Potentially. There is a possibility. Please don't draw something good. Okay, they have to keep this back now. Okay, so I win, right? Because I hagger mauling this and I attack with Crawling Barons for exactly lethal? Yes? Yes? Is that the truth? That is the truth. We only speak the truth here, chat. Only the truth. Take action. Crawling burns lethal. <laughs> exactly. I've played against this person before. I will keep this. Oh no. No. Orzov Snow again. What have I done? What have I done? This is not the matchup I want to play, Chet. This is not it. I want to I want to kill the creature deck. Not have my opponent play Edgar on me. Alright, they're gonna go with 
Vanishing Verse, but at least I have a 2-3 lifelink behind. See me in 30 minutes. Not gone my way. Yeah, well, yeah, well, pretty sure the cool well. kids call it snow or snores off now. All right, fair. Oh, come on. All right, let's draw Toxrill and kill them. Spell Stinger, sure. This is probably not getting any better than it is right now, so I'm gonna do it. Hold up Infernal Grasp for something else, I guess. Snorzov is appropriate? I mean, you're not wrong. You're the furthest from wrong. Do this so they can't um, get the dispute in response. Well, that's this pretty strong. Hit in for two lifelink. The power of Sorin. Vanishing verse, my thing. Fair. Necrotic fume. Fumes using that. Cool. I don't have anything in the graveyard that I want anyway. But, uh, aggromalling that? Now they did the dispute? They don't have the deadly dispute. Cool. Do we take action? Sure. I don't know if I want another meet up. Another Celestis. I'm gonna use this. And then we're gonna do... Discard a land. And then if they... We're going to take action again. Discard a land. <laughs> and if they go to Necrotic Fumes... No, they can't Necrotic Fumes either one of these. Ambles. Falling Baron. Cool. I, I, I guess they can feel to ruin it. Plenty of basics where that came from. Alright, what do they have? Just a lot of vanishing verses. You 
could have such subservience will oh. be rewarded. Maybe they have um right of oblivions. Meat hook for one. I'm confused. They could have exiled my lol. I guess they're gonna do that anyway, I guess. My pie will call the wheat. Give me toxic toxrel. Blow in the snow, destroy planeswalker. And they're gonna bring back their something. I'm sure you'll miss me. Their spell stinger. Okay, if I soul shatter in response, they actually can't exploit. Right? More blood. Bro, creatures. Okay, with five. Bring back Lolf. Minus it. Play hive. Okay. Let's freaking go. In exchange for loyalty. I guess they can necrotic fumes by Lolf now. They had the right of oblivion the whole time, I figured. A pity our time is over. They can write the Celestis now. Yep. Hox Daddy. Hox Daddy is in the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to necrotic fumes it. Sometimes lucky. They can't necrotic fumes it and play and play mascot. So that's good for me. More lands, you love to see it. Gonna get rid of their Professor. Alright. I don't think they're dead next turn. Fingers crossed. Well, shoot. That is the best card that could have drawn. Alright, can I draw something good? That's a meat hook massacre. I can wait, are they dead? No, they're not dead, right? I can kill these two and then menace. But that doesn't mean that they're dead, right? Because wait, they are dead. <laughs> back to back meat hook top decks. They meat hooked your five creatures and died like a true champion. Oh, we have Sky we have Skyclay Shade and Giza and Ebon Death. Let's freaking go. Alright, nice duress opponent. At least they get to know about our cards though. <laughs> Top deck Lolth right after the duress. They'll never see it coming. They'll never see it coming. Alright, here's where they go exile my spec play shade immediately. At least I don't have that for Ebon Death now, or Giza, or Lolth, or Skullport. 
missed a land drop. Things you love to see. They hit the land drop. Attack. Uh, play land path. Cast seven death into turn. Hit the land again. Must be nice. Wedding? Sure. Put my flyer. Me a crawl. The other one doesn't even really do anything. I guess it. Hmm. Attack. Then Wolf. Because if they play their Wolf, they would need to draw a land, which we know they don't have. Okay, they drew a land, but it was tap. Wedding announcement again. Draw card. Graveyard. Will take care of you. If we attack with everything, Aren't I generous? All right. Do they draw an untap land to cast both things? They drew both for turn. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Alright, at least they don't know I have me dug. Do what I demand. Alright, so if we... If we attack them with everything... They guarantee take one. Off the skull port. But they kill Evan Death, they double block this, and then they block one here. We can meat hook for two. I think we're best off attacking everything here. Wolf takes exactly one. I will not cry like a and I, the generous one. I think we just do this for two. We and then we minus Wolf again. And then they play Graveyard Trespasser and Exile or M-Death and gain a life. But then what do they have after that? 
land go blank? Nope. They're going to make another 1-1 one -one with wedding announcement. Gosh, the amount of jump blockers is just unreal. Um... What if I attack with three menace creatures and put them to four? If I attack with Hive of the Eye Tyrant and everything, they go a block graveyard trespasser to Hive, block the three three to Hive, block the graveyard trespasser with the four three, and that's their best block. And then they die because they they take both menaces to the face and the one damage from Graveyard Trespasser, so I think they're dead. They are dead, because they did the math. Oh, yes! <laughs> Team Stoneforge Mystic. Should I be scared? Why is everybody playing this deck? Can, can we can we just stop playing mirror matches and just play against the aggro decks, please? This is the third one in a row. It's 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 actually just awful. Give me mono green. Give me mono white. Give me gruel werewolves. At least I can cast cast Toxic Boy next turn. Welcoming. All right, go Toxic Boy, go. Your things die. my face when streamer realizes they've created their own hell and are in it. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. Why does that happen to me? Goodbye, Top Girl, but you did a good job. Oh, I love lands. It's one of my favorite things, actually. I would love to play against a different deck. Please don't main deck go blank opponent. Okay. They're going to draw another card. Unfortunate. Kind of weird that they played this this turn because this only triggers once and they're already going to trigger it with this. So they missed a trigger with Welcoming Vampire. Meat Hook. Hog. Lands, more lands, more lands. Alright, can I stop drawing lands? Oh, they just passed? I mean, I'm okay with that. 
They probably have some removals, though. You require my aid. Oh. My power nice. is for annihilation. This deck is still good in best of three like we're playing now, but it's still it's probably even better in best of one. Because there's more aggro decks. We're on roll. I will show you what happens when the spy I will get what I want. Giza. All right, so I'm gonna kill their lol. I am merely delayed, not defeated. Do I want a meat hook for two? I'm gonna skull port march and sack these enemy to do. I will cull the weak. Gift in exchange for loyalty. Good minions are loyal and deadly. Okay. That's annoying. Want check? Alright, what am I doing here? If they block my merchant, I can parasitic grasp the welcoming vampire. I think I'm drawing again. My words are full Oxy boy. Foxy's in the house. We're gonna play Tox Roll. We're gonna get where they don't have an untap plan. Because they didn't cast this. Farm hand. Alright, so we can meet up for two again. Not meet up for two, but maybe blow in the snow potentially, possibly. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna necrotic fumes, right? <laughs> you win All right, this so we go Toxy. But I'll be waiting for you. Would you like to block?
They block out Kentoxie and kill it. Perfect. The rocks, Tox roll, corrosive. Goodbye. Slugonomics classes in session. An opponent literally playing paying us in slugs. You're not wrong, I get one. White of Oblivion. Good thing I can sacrifice this. And scoopage. That's a hand. I love this hand. Agrimalling's not good. I mean, I guess I can target a Bulkwing Vampire in the future. Dix, thanks for the follow. Symbology goes and gets a environmental sciences, I guess. Ooh, necrotic fumes already. So Inferno Grass is gonna be reserved for welcoming vampire. Ooh, a go blank. You love to see it. I think we're casting Skullport Merchant before we do that though. Land path. All right, I guess it's Skullport Merchant time. How long have I been content creating? That's a good question. I've been creating content for a year and a half, ever since August 20th of 2020. Is that a year and a half? Yep, that's almost exactly a year and a half. That's Welcoming Vampire. Cool. Do they draw a card? The answer is no. Christmas, thanks for the host. We are going to be go blanking. Because I want to infernal grasp welcoming vampire. What do they have in hand? I'm gonna wait till they try to play something to trigger the vampire, and then I'm gonna infernal grasp it. Use my life as a resource. Go blank me back. All right. This gives me healthy blockers. Maybe it makes them use a removal spell. Deal with this annoyance. Perfect. Ooh, that was really good. Whoa. Without me, we're all doomed. All right. I don't really mind doing this. Then I'm gonna flash a Nevenda. Yeah. 
And then... I'm gonna pass. Because if they try to deal with my stuff, I want mana open to sacrifice it. Especially exiling my Ebon Death. Uh, they might have a... Do they have this, which is good for this. There I go. Ooh, Crawling Barons is good. I'm just attacking, if they get whatever off I Twitch, I think that's fine. The way to beat that deck is just to beat it down? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They got S Summoning. Sure. That is not what I expected. Because that doesn't block these. Agadim's Awakening. Wow. Okay, so that makes sense. Kill this. The all-powerful lands. Backing. I'll put some menace creatures on the board. Mm. Oh, if they go to kill them, if they have meat hook massacre or whatever, I can just sacrifice one in response and then make some more with Lulf. Lulf does die if they attack with Hive, though. I bring okay. Unfortunate for me. I bring my own army. Oh, yes, I know the knowledge you seek. So they're at, they're at four because I have this, but they don't know they don't know that. Uh, they they are at seven with three blockers. They go block block block. They take one two three four five. They're not they're actually, they're actually at one. They're not dead. Like they're at two, and then if I cast this, they're at one. Is Baron's lethal? They have three blockers. They block, they block Baron's, they block this, and they block this. Then they take one, two, three, four, five. They gain two life from lifelink. What I need to do... Is I need to kill Soren. Back here. Attack here. That way, if Ebon Death dies and another one of my creatures dies, then I can bring Ebon Death back. And 
to I. So since one of their creatures died, I can bring back the Evan Death. And then I can play Graveyard Trespasser and exile their creature. And then hopefully they don't have, like, Meat Hook Massacre. But even if they do have Meat Hook Massacre, it's okay for me, I think. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't have attacked with one of my flyers. Because Welcoming Vampire can kill Wolf now, which is unfortunate. But if Welcoming Vampire attacks and they don't have a good way to block, then I think I might win anyway. Alright, so they got rid of my Evan Death. Then they're gonna cast Pest Summoning and draw a card with Welcoming. Oh, they already did that. They didn't attack. So they go block, 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 take two, four, five. Not game. Alright, so what I can do here is go to combat, attack like this, exile this, Then they take four. What do this? If I draw a land off of this, do what I blood. demand. Okay. Then I can go Soren minus Wolf minus. I will get what I want. Do they have me hook? No. They have a lot of freaking blockers. Check for trap. Not bad. All right. So they have one, two, three, six blockers. I have three menacers, so they have to block, they go, they have to block, 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 so one, two, three, four. I have an extra damage with check for traps exiling their pest summoning the sorcery. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they have to double block one, so they double block, they take four, they go block, 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 block. And then they take four, and then they don't have lifelink, so I think I win. So I'm just going to go like this first. I'm pretty sure I win. Full send. They have to double block one spider to live, to not, die, to not like actually die from spiders. And then when they go to four after having the double block one of them, I check for trap their card for lethal. Wait, it doesn't work because they gain a life off the pest. Okay, so I needed to check for traps before I attack. If I check for traps before I attack, they go to four and then they would lose. But now they're at one life because they can block with the pest. But if they use the pest to double block, then I could just not kill the pest. Okay, I still win this way. If they use the pest to double block and don't single block with the pest, I still win because I don't kill the pest to double block. Okay, so I win. Because I can do the double block trick and not actually kill the pest. The double block trick wins me this game. Wait, the Shambling Gas can target their own 1-1, one -one, can't it? No, it can't. Shambling Gas is only opponents. What I do here 
is that I go to damage, put both on Shambling Gas and nothing on Pest, it will not kill the Pest. I go to one, Pest doesn't die, can't gain it life, and then I check for traps, their sorcery for lethal. A gift? I My will cannot be denied. Oh no! Did I punt? If it's an instant card, I could have just targeted. I could have just targeted their hagger mauling. Okay. Subservience will be rewarded. I, I had game if I just targeted this, but I was just targeting this because it's the one I was talking about. It pings with instance. I thought it was instant and sorcery, but I, I won the game anyway. I would I would have won the game if I picked the right card. I also would have won anyways if I had played check for traps, exiling the hagger mauling um, before attackers, and if they blocked correctly. But since I didn't do it before attackers and they blocked incorrectly, it gave me the chance to hit them after combat and hit their hagger mauling. But since I didn't choose the Hagger Mauling, they got another turn, but I had too much on the board anyway. Alright, Jamers, I hope that you loved being the most toxic Magic players possible. We did play against that uh, that Naya deck that you saw before that we destroyed. Um, really, really good against Werewolves with the four Parasitic Crafts. But also, you got to saw a lot of matchups against the Orzov Snow deck. We're not supposed to play against that deck with this deck, by the way, but we still managed to win more than we lost against those decks, which is really cool. I added a couple copies of Belfal Mastery in the sideboard because we had a problem dealing with um, Edgar. Uh, so that's a little bit of a hedge towards Edgar there. But if you want to be the most toxic players in Magic the Gathering and never lose to aggro decks, play this deck. Anyways, if you also still don't like playing against aggro decks, you can look at this video right over here. That's it. That's all I have for you. Hopefully you love this deck and you love playing Slugs. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.